Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll focus on our multiple select feature, a feature that allows you to be more productive. It unlocks the options for you to manage your data in a few different ways. You can select a specific item, you can select a range of items, and you can delete and export your data. So let's see it all in action. One of the best ways to save time when dealing with your tasks is by updating multiple items at the same time. So let's open our status tab and let's move a couple of tasks which are currently in my to-do. We can navigate to our to-do group and now instead of going through each individual item, I can select the ones I want to update. All I need to do is hold my command button or control button if I am on my Windows PC and select the items I want. After selecting them, I'll see a blue border around them which means that I've successfully selected them. And now I can drag and drop them in my doing group, which will automatically update their status from to do to doing. We can also do it another way around, so let me show you that. Now let's focus on delegating tasks. Let's move to our team's workload tab where we can see all assigned tasks. There aren't that many, but one of our colleagues got sick and now we need to delegate his tasks to someone else. Instead of doing it one by one, we can use our multiple select feature to select a whole range of items by holding our shift button down and selecting the very first item and then the very last one, after which we can drag and drop them onto the colleague we want to handle those tasks. Once they are moved, the assignee will automatically change and will notify the specific person that got a few additional tasks to work on. Another great example of utilizing our multiple select feature is by moving your data around. Let's say I want to archive all done tasks. I can do that by holding my command button down or my control button if I'm on my PC then selecting each individual item with the done label and then I can simply drag and drop those items onto the archive folder. Once that's done, all the items that were selected are now in our archive folder. Once you archived your items, your colleagues or clients might request a report of some sorts and exporting your data as a PDF might be extremely useful in this case. So instead of exporting each individual item one by one, you can use our multiple select feature. Hold your shift button down, select a whole range of items, and at the very bottom of your screen, you'll see the option to export your data as a PDF. Click on it and within a few seconds, you'll get a chance to download a PDF of each individual item you've selected. All right. Sometimes it just happens that some of the tasks are not needed. So instead of deleting them one by one, we can use our multiple select feature to delete them all. Let's hold our command button down or control button if we are on Windows PC and let's select a few different items. Once we've selected our items, we can click on delete button at the very bottom of the page and all your items will be gone. Well, that's it guys, hopefully you learned something new and if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below, reach out to us via live chat support or email us team at startinfinity.com. Thank you guys and take care.